of your vision, it will be truly a All global right. hub in Africa for everybody. Senator Sakaj, Sakaj, I believe you do agree that Nairobi is in deep debt and there's wasteful use of funds. What are the factors behind this? How will you fix it? Again, um, I must say, Nairobi is in a dire situation that needs proper, proper, proper planning and proper political management. A lot of these issues are relational. If you look at the 76 billion um, debt, including even the 4.4 that is owed now you know, um, to, to KCB and many of these other instruments we've gotten into, a lot of them can be sorted out based on how we relate with the national government. That Nairobi is not a branch of the national government or an appendage, or as uh, my brother says, you know, the military interventions are going on, then Nairobi can negotiate because there are a lot of areas which we can do debt swaps that the county of Nairobi owes the national government and the national government owes the Nairobi city county. We must balance our books and we're going to do that. And we have a team that is, you know, properly suited, you know, to be able to do that. I, I am very, very confident about my deputy, um, Jorogo Mushiri, who has a stellar career as well in banking. Actually, a proper corporate career, not two years stints here and there. A proper career, 20 years in Absa. So give us the particulars, though, on, yes. on the issue of uh, the debt that we are in. How will we get out once you are gone? That's what I'm saying. We must do a couple of things. One, you must refinance your debt. You must move what is domestic into concessional. That you cannot be borrowing from commercial banks. Have them as concessional. Chapter 12 of the Constitution of Kenya, talking about public finance, says how the national government guarantees county governments of debt. In fact, on top of that, we must get creative. For us to sort out the real issues of this city, we need around 200 billion shillings up front through an infrastructure bond. I've gone across this world and spoken to Kenyans in the diaspora whose remittances are our biggest foreign income earner who are ready to put in money in certain interventions. When you talk about transit, we need a mass transit system in this county. How are we going to do it? Recently, I was in Imperial College in London and I met a, a man, a nice gentleman, who sorted out transit in London. He sorted out transit in Beijing, mobility. What's his name? Professor Washington Ocheng. The other day I was in Riyadh. I met a group of guys who did the Dubai Metro and are doing the Riyadh Metro. George Opondo. There are Kenyans out there who are willing. So we must get creative. Um, there's a PPP department that has been set up in the, in the National Treasury. There's external borrowing. But we must refinance this city. Look at Joburg. Joburg is almost, you know, it's, it's more or less a listed uh, city where people can actually invest in it. If you do not do that, you become a cashier. That you're receiving money, you only pay salaries, you will not develop Nairobi unless you get creative in how we actually, you know, um, structure our financing model for this city. So we're going to restructure the debt, move to concessional loans, uh, reamortize some of those payments to longer term, and have no. an infrastructure bond for Nairobi City. Many Kenyans out there no. are going to put in money on our transit, on our water, and no. our basic infrastructure. Bwana Polika, utakabili vipi matumizi ya rasilimali, mabaya rasilimali katika county ya Nairobi, ufujaji wa fedha na madeni ambayo sasa hivi ya naangamiza county ya Nairobi? Ah, jambo la kwanza, Nairobi City County gets its highest revenue from land rates. Parking bays, um, land rates, parking fees, outdoor advertising, uh, building permits. Those would be some of the top, within the top five uh, revenue things. And what we are going to do is to make sure that we digitalize the collection of all that revenue so that the leakage, we seal the leakage. Technology is one of the best things to overcome loss of revenue. And we are going to use technology in, in the public revenue management system. Then secondly, we will deploy that money. Our own source revenue, I can promise, we and Professor Kaloki have done a study, and we've even checked the reports of the Commission for Revenue Allocation. With six revenue lines, we can generate 80 billion own source revenue in Nairobi. And with that money, we will build a thousand. We will join the government in building more schools, in making sure there's medicine in our dispensaries, in making sure that there's incinerators to burn garbage, that we start a leasing program for vehicles and equipment uh, for the staff, and also to make sure we pay our staff the right salaries so that they are really motivated. We are very concerned about the welfare 
of Nairobi City County workers and all the workers of all affiliate bodies of Nairobi City County. Only motivated workers can deliver essential services, and that's what Nairobians want. And that brings, it, brings me to the next issue, and that is the competence of the Nairobi City County staff, and you will both have an opportunity to respond to this. How will you address the competence or lack thereof over employment, cases of ghost workers and the issue of productivity to make those staff uh, workers, the workers of Nairobi City County, uh, that they will deliver the services for the Nairobians. I'll start with you. Every employee of Nairobi City County from the 10th of August, we shall have a performance agreement with them. We will bring back to life performance contracting. And that performance agreement means what do they do every day? The few things they do every day to deliver the output Nairobians expect. And that output will be captured in a scorecard. So each one of us will have a scorecard and a performance agreement. The performance agreement is the input. The scorecard is the measure. And who will measure? is the neighborhood associations. We're going to run Nairobi with the neighborhood associations as per the Neighborhoods Act. There is an act that demands the cities run in a see-through way. Let me not call it transparent. That, and I want to use the, the analogy of an egg. The executive of Nairobi City County will be the yolk. Surrounding it will be the county assembly as the egg white. The egg shell will be the residents of Nairobi. Kwa sababu, we will not pay an invoice for a road or a broken sewer before the neighborhood association, say, of Kayole, says, sends us a photo. So there's crowdsourcing. We are going to use technology and the cloud and a data center that can really be able to serve the city of Nairobi. And we shall decentralize services from City Hall. City Hall will be the headquarters of the corporate services. There is no use for a waiter, like I found a waiter, a restaurant, somebody working somewhere in Umoja telling me they have to come all the way to CBD at Yanakuja Kutafuta food handler certificate. No. That right. food handler certificate, they should be able to get it in Umoja. Thank Sankaj, you. I think you were tickled there again. Uh, it was a point of the mention, the, the cloud issue, but how will you address the uh, staffing for Nairobi County? Nairobi County. Many of those ideas, really, you know, this is not equity, yeah? this is not corporate. You must take the bull by the horns and give practical solutions Which to are? our city. And let me give you an example. You're talking about, you know, one of the highest revenue streams, you know, being um, rates. Have you talked to us about the rate classification of those rates? Why is it that people in Gidogoro are paying the same rate as people in Runda, which is just, you know, a doorstep away, yet they have Mabati structures and these ones have five-star houses? You know, let, let's be practical, because that is what Nairobians want to be able to hear. Now, the sectional properties uh, bill that was passed uh, in, in Parliament recently prevents an opportunity. I've heard him saying he's done a study with, with uh, Professor Kaloki. I, I know Professor Kaloki is a professor. And maybe that's why we've not been seeing you guys campaigning because you're doing studies. But look at what KPMG has spoken about Nairobi. Look at what PwC has said and the CRA. It is not just six revenue streams that are going to um, increase how much we collect. Just the sectional properties realignment and the revaluation that starts in January 2023 is going to take us up another 50 to 53 billion shillings. Every other revenue stream then must be geared towards making Nairobians more productive. The NMS that you praise has been going around this city with GSU, harassing our traders and our hawkers, throwing them into you know, those pickups, tetanus field pickups and roadworthy. By the way, on the 9th, if you're listening and you're a scrap metal dealer, come to City Hall. Revenue has gone down to 7 billion. Why is that? Because you're not explaining to the people of Nairobi the services you're offering with the money you collect from them. We will have a people-centered leadership. Cloud is a tool. Now, but your, your, your focus must be on the people you're serving. You can't be... Mudo umekuisha buwana uh, senator, lakini umekuwa senator wa county ya Nairobi. Yeah. Umewajibika vipi katika kuwana kwamba pesa za county ya Nairobi zinatumika namna inavo stahili, hakuna wizi, hakuna watu wa siofanya kazi ambao wanalipua. Umekuwa senator, wewe ndiye machu ya county ya Nairobi. Zubeda na nani kama nakuja hapa mulifanya utafiti. Umewajibika vipi senator katika kuhakikisha na kwamba yes, pesa za county ya Nairobi zimetumika my, vya ma... My, my, my timer is counting while you're talking. Kama umlifanya utafiti, ungeona zile report ambazo ni miwasilisha, zile miswada na hoja ambazo ni mizileta kwa bunge. Hapo kati ya hizo miswada na hoja, kuna ile ambayo inaito prompt payment bill, ambayo pia wale wengine walijaribu kuweka katika mswada wa BBI walikuwa na leta. Ilikuwa ni kwa bunge. 
Ukiangalia yale ma eh, unajua zile ripoti ambazo nimewasilisha kwa bunge zinazungumza ye, itakuwa ni njia gani tatumia 